a company out of China called DeepSeek had just released a large language model that is very competitive with some of the best large language models out there. It was released on January 20th, 2025, during President Trump's inauguration. And many people are saying that it was a message sent by China because they are not allowed to get the best GPUs from NVIDIA to create the best large language model tools. Now, DeepSeek is open source, so it's free to use for anybody who wants to use it. And here's the thing that, that, that has everybody talking. They claim it only costs $6 million to train the DeepSeek R1 model. Based on the metrics in comparison to other large language models is just as good as all of the best, including GPT-40, which is its latest version. Now, part of the reason why that's so problematic is because OpenAI has spent $6.6 .6 billion to bring the technology up to where it is today. And DeepSeek with $6 million makes everybody begin to question, do we need all of those GPUs, the strongest GPUs from NVIDIA? And when this news came out, NVIDIA stock dropped dramatically on that first day. Now, what we learned about DeepSeek is that it, it learned everything that it knows from ChatGPT 4.0. It basically asked ChatGPT 4.0 millions and millions of questions as it kind of sucked all of the knowledge out. And that is what's called distillation. Here's a clip from David Sachs. He's the... He's the AI czar for the United States of America, and this is what he has to say about distillation. There's a, there's a technique in AI called distillation, which you're gonna hear a lot about, and it's when a, one model learns from another model. Effectively, uh, what happens is that the student model asks the parent model a lot of questions, just like a human would learn. Uh, but AIs can do this asking millions of questions, and they can essentially mimic the, the reasoning process that they learn from the parent model and they can kind of suck the knowledge out of the parent model. And there's substantial evidence that what DeepSeek did here is they distilled the knowledge out of uh, OpenAI's models. And I don't think OpenAI is very happy about this. And I think one of the things you're gonna see over the next few months is uh, our leading AI companies taking steps to try and prevent distillation. And so we'll see if, uh, if, if the leading AI companies can prevent distillation by third-party companies. Uh, that would definitely slow down some of these copycat models. So the term is distillation, and, and clearly there's a concern by these companies that have spent hundreds of millions or billions to get the technology to where it is to make sure that this doesn't continue. Now, just today, David Sachs also released a post on X and said there's a new report by leading semiconductor analyst Dylan Patel that shows that DeepSeek spent over $1 billion on its compute cluster. The widely reported $6 million number is highly misleading as it excludes CapEx and R&D and at best describes the cost of the final training run only. So did DeepSeek and China purposely release the information the way they did just to shake up the stock market a little bit? Possibly. But I don't plan on... But I don't plan on getting a DeepSeek account. And part of the reason is because of the data privacy and security risk. If you thought we had data privacy and security risks with ChatGBT or some of these other large language models, at least they're American-based companies. With a Chinese-based company, you have to assume all of your data is being scraped. You have to assume all of your data is being scraped. And if you thought that TikTok was an issue, just imagine what a very powerful generative AI tool can do to your private data. Certainly a security risk. Now, if you really want to try DeepSeek, you can try it safely through Perplexity, 
through your perplexity account you can do it through a third party essentially all you have to do is go to perplexity hit the pro button click on that and you'll see where it says reasoning with r1 new deep seek model hosted by the us you could try it out safely but what i think you're going to discover is that it's going to act and respond a lot like chat gpt's 4.0 because that's essentially what DeepSeek is. So that's the latest update with DeepSeek. When I find out more, I'll share it with you.